Okay. Okay, today I'm going to be cooking um, a single rib of beef um, on the barbecue. Um, see here, uh, I love these things. Um, seriously uh, thick steak on the bone, nice lot of fat running through it. Um, and it'll comfortably serve two, and you might even squeeze three adult portions out of one of these. Um, probably cost anywhere between 15 and 20 pounds, but trust me, for barbecue, it's absolutely amazing and definitely worth um, the extra money compared to those really thin steaks you tend to get from supermarkets. Um, what I've done with this um, in preparation for the grill is, is a dry rub. I'm sure a lot of you know. Um, you know the merits of dry rubs and wet rubs all that sort of stuff this one is um, as probably most people do a little bit of chucking things together but the base um, for this particular dry rub is approximately two dessert spoons of brown sugar um, a teaspoon of salt heat teaspoon of salt um, a dessert spoon of um, garlic powder and a dessert spoon of onion powder uh, a teaspoon of um, uh, smoked paprika if you can get hold of it uh, it's probably better to leave it out rather than use the unsmoked paprika um, and some uh, crushed chili flakes and um, a little pinch of cumin um, so I've slapped that on this morning uh, on the steak just rubbing it into the uh, into the meat stick it in the fridge um, and what I've done that recipe um, that recipe I've just kind of read out um, will we'll make more than you need and what I do is just um, try and do this in this way just stick it into um, an old um, herb and spice pot so that you can you know use it for future recipes um, it's totally good in there but just before I cook just generally put a bit of more sprinkle of the mixture on top um, there and uh, that's good to go so uh, in the next stage we'll be uh, uh, putting that onto the grill okay so I've got my coals on now um, if you've got a height adjustable barbecue you can see here um, uh, this one I've got is you're able to move the you know the heat away or close to the, the food um, you want initially on um, you know kind of mid-level if that makes sense that um, first part of the cooking and the reason putting the dry rub on is to really get a, a char and a crust on the outside of the meat so you do want it um, quite hot um, and close close to the meat um, uh, for the first the first five or six minutes or so um, so I'm just going to put the bars back on this and then uh, get that steak on okay so I've cleaned up the uh, the grill uh, now ready to put um, the meat on get that sound we all love okay um, the temptation avoid the temptation uh, to turn it move it do anything with it um, for the first first few minutes um, I'm trying to get the seal and the char on the meat um, in this first portion of cooking um, also the, this meat so it's got a decent fat content I and mean, it's not massively fatty because it's uh, very much um, uh, very in, in the majority of it is, it is meat, but um, generally find if you if you have got a barbecue with a lid um, like this one, um, you sort of res resist the temptation to close the lid uh, because um, the fat can drip onto the the very hot coals, and you'll end up with uh, an inferno on your on your hands. Um, with the grill open, you can very much um, keep an eye on the fat and the flames, um, nothing wrong with a bit of flames but uh, I've done this in the past with the lid shut and uh, <laughs> uh, wishing that I'd uh, kept the lid open. Um, again a couple of minutes really on each side um, uh, but not not moving this at all um, for the first first three or four minutes especially uh, definitely take the, remember to take your meat out of the fridge before, uh, uh, before you cook um, because that will uh, Again, leave you with a well done outside and, and a raw middle um, to get that meat up to room temperature before you before you slap it on the grill. Um, and as the meat sears and cooks on the outside, um, that 
the moisture uh, uh, is moving into the middle of the meat so when you come to uh, breast it and serve it it should hopefully be uh, be nice and juicy in the middle so uh, I'll come back to this uh, three four minutes time okay um, so this has been cooking for excuse my video work here guys um, it's been cooking for about four or five minutes and start to see the fat on the coals that's generally a good sign for getting the first flip in so uh, I haven't moved it or touched it so uh, that's the kind of thing um, looking for a um, bit of crusting start, starting to happen on the outside um, don't worry too much about the bit that you can see that's black it's really where the, where the high uh, fat areas are um, which are, are burnt and um, uh, given the steak is so thick I mean it's a good sort of I don't know what it is probably about two inches I'd say uh, thick um, uh, uh, generally it won't really cook all the way through the fat so it won't dissolve or anything so you can kind of cut around that but definitely a good char on the outside um, and same again really um, uh, three four five minutes on um, the opposite side um, and that's certainly one thing I've heard you know if you continue to like flip your steaks like every every minute or so um, you're really not getting the cooking uh, process that you want in that that nice sort of crispy and charred outside and the and the juicy um, sort of rare medium rare sort of um, uh, middle um, so uh, I'll just leave that there for another couple of minutes um, and then I'll show you what to do next as you can see it's um, starting to get lively there, it's generally a good sign that um, the meat, all the fat's starting to melt and um, I'm just going to give this a flip over. So again, don't be worried about the char on the outside, you know, this is all good, uh, giving that barbecue flavour. Um, uh, this is a bone-in piece of meat, you see here there's a big old, sorry, bad pattern work camera work, big old bone in there, this bone is your friend. Um, for those of you with a barbecue with a lid, um, that the lid there then starts to almost like a, a roasting process. Um, I don't know if you remember how hot these coals are, but it's five, six hundred degrees, something like that. Um, if you've got a lid on your barbecue, now's the time to close it. I've got that meat just to the right hand side of the coals there. Um, you know, it's kicking out. I can't hold my hand there, it's um, too hot. Um, going to just stick that on the side of the coals and that bone is going to shield um, the rest of the meat. Um, if you just leave it on the heat what you'll find is all the meat that's close to the bone will just be raw like, uh, and I mean raw, um, uh, something the dog would enjoy. Um, I like why it's on the other side is the is the band of fat um, which again can gonna protect the rest of um, uh, the meat from from the heat for a little while so shut the lid on it um, and condensation in my dial but if we come back to this you'll see that the um, the temperature inside there will will, will rise nicely into uh, giving it like a, a semi oven effect so I just said just to uh, finish this particular bit um, if you cook this directly on the heat um, it's probably ready in about 20 minutes, certainly no more than 25. And it's off to the side, uh, cooking, offset cooking. It's really going to get um, that barbecue taste into the meat um, and not hammer it the cooking process. You're not whacking the meat with a direct five, 600 degree um, heat from the coals. Um, don't worry that, oh, it's not on the heat, it's not going to cook. Um, it, it, you really don't need to worry about that because um, uh, you're going to need to kind of leave it I usually do sort of 10 minutes um, off the heat flip it over another 10 minutes 20, so the total cooking time so uh, when the first phase and the second phase complete it sort of be half an hour um, so uh, shut the lid again Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes um, with the lid closed. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Um, 
We're going to flip it and turn it with the uh, with the fat side now um, towards towards the heat. We've got a string on the end. Take that off. Um, and um, the same again, really. Um, Ten minutes uh, with the lid closed, um, and then on to the uh, sort of final final bits and bobs. Okay, so that's been going for another ten minutes or so um, off the heat. We're finally just like gonna just give it a couple of minutes either side. Um, the coals should have really um, uh, cooled down a bit by now. Um, just a final sort of cook everything off, brown everything up. Um, and then into foil and a rest for a good 10 minutes or so. So that's been resting for about 10 minutes now, so um, <coughs> in some foil, just uh, cut the end off. So it's good. You can see that? Nice and juicy in the middle. Chef's privilege. Mm. Delicious. <laughs>